the last one and maybe the most important shortcut rule that you learn when you're learning derivatives is the chain rule. And we apply the chain rule when we have composite functions. We have functions inside of functions. So the way it works, if you want to take the derivative of a composite function, you would take the derivative of the outside function normally, still evaluated the original function, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Again, when you see it like this, it probably looks confusing, but with an example that probably is going to help a lot. So let's say I had x plus 1 to the fifth, and I want to take the derivative of this thing. Up until now, you wouldn't have an easy way of doing it. You could expand this whole thing um, and write it all out term by term. You'd get like an x to the fifth and then an x to the fourth term, and that would be, that would be a real pain. But if we apply the chain rule, the chain rule says, I pretend the inside isn't there. I'm just going to take the derivative normally. So if this was x to the fifth, let's just pretend it's just x to the fifth, I would do the power rule, right? I would write a 5 there, and I would copy that, and I would subtract 1 from the power, right? But it's not just x there, it's x plus 1. That was our outside function. Our inside function is x plus 1, and the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1. So if you can kind of see that the f prime of x is 1 and the g prime of f of x is 5x plus 1 to the fourth, then you followed me well. But this is very confusing and we're going to do a couple more examples.